Hey guys, Sam from Crash Course Hammer here in the big red chair of laziness. Today I thought I'd just do a quick little overview slash review of two books specifically. He said, is the power run out? Low power mode please. Hopefully I can get the footage out before that. Specifically on, of course, these two versions of Donald McBain's The Swordsman Companion. Uh, this one here is... The blah, 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 is the Lulu Press version, which is from Ben Kerr, I believe. Du, du, du. Yes, this is a reproduction by Ben Kerr, available on Lulu. Okay, and this is of course the Jared Kirby edition. So before we go any further, the too long didn't watch is this edition is incredibly expensive, and this edition or this uh, version is much more affordable. So if you can only pick up one based purely on a cost basis, okay, you will pick up the Jared Kirby one. Now, what about the content of both of them? Well, the fact of the matter is they're both pretty much the same. Uh, there are slight differences, but they are more or less the same. Here's a picture from the Jared Kirby one, okay. They're all highly they're all high resolution. They've all been digitally touched up in order to make it, um, in order to make them clearer. Okay, here's a here's the same page in the uh, Ben Kerr edition. Okay, <clears throat> the page numbers more or less correspond to the original. Of course, the original manuscript. Um, their sizes are pretty much the same if we as you can oh I don't know if you can see that hang on I'll flip my camera yeah I'll flip it I'll flip it one of these days oh Jesus as you can see yeah yep yeah, there we go so as you can see they're about the same thickness and also of course they're actually about the same size same dimensions so there's not really a lot physically uh, that sets them apart, save that the uh, save that the Ben Kerr edition has slightly softer yellower pages, okay, whilst the Jared Kirby edition has generally speaking whiter, brighter pages. Um, the translations or the the transcriptions really um, in both of them are fantastic. They are both consistent across the board. So if you have either of these, you can't go wrong with it. I will say one thing though. Ben here has gone with a much more accurate, direct, um, when I say accurate, that's, when I say accurate, I don't mean that Jared's wrong, all I mean is that from manuscript to transcription, he's taken a much more direct approach, which is to say that he has the odd little symbols that you might come across, for example, the, um, when, uh, the S that looks like an F without a, a crossbar, they have that, um, you know, it has the arcane spelling of particular words, and also it has some of the arcane spacing as well. Which means that if I had to say what was a more direct, um, what's the word I'm looking for, a more direct uh, copy, it would definitely be this one. However, your average person, okay, is going to find it way harder to read that, okay, than they are Jared's version. Now, that's not to say Jared doesn't also do that, um, I think he does at points, but by far and large what he's done with this is he has modernized the spelling, and by modernized I mean he's simply chosen to use the modern equivalent of a word, um, and other than that the difference uh, is minuscule. Um, what else can I say about them? What else can I say about them? This has a introduction as well, so you get a little extra in this one um, from Jared. This one does not have an introduction. Um, this one weighs more. I mean, this this is this is the point we're getting to with these two copies. They are both fantastic. If you have access to one or the other, or you own one or the other, they're perfectly fine, and there's nothing wrong with either of them. You know. They are so similar on so many levels that the difference is negligible between them. 
Um, you know, and if we want this book slightly heavier than this book, that's <laughs> that's the point we're getting to. But again, based because I now own both, I've read through both, um, just based on my own experience with them, this cost a lot. Now, I don't know if it's come down in price since when I bought it, but this cost an outstanding amount of money to get it to Australia versus, go figure, about a month later, Jared bought out his version. Um, you know, so it's sort of up to you. One, I will say this, though. This much I will say. Um, this, by far and large, has a much nicer cover design as well as back design and actually features a blurb. So if you wanted somewhat of a display book, if you wanted the version that would perhaps look best on your display, whether it's a public display or a personal display, you're really probably better off with Ben's book here. Um, you know, because that is nice. That is nice cover art. Um, who, who was it done by? Let's find out. This is this review is pretty on the fly. What have we got? Oh no, wait, I'm entirely I was wrong. Um, Keith Farrell did the editing on this as well. Um, who who did the cover? I can't tell. Oh well. So I was wrong. There is in fact a forward in this as well. Um, so they both have forwards. So <laughs> you know, I mean, Donald McBain's book is fantastic. It is hands down one of the most interesting um, and at times incredibly pragmatic broadsword slash sword, small sword this is a common misconception it is primarily small sword in here right? that's what he was mostly writing about but he tacked on so many other cool things in there um, which is great so So, in summary, which one would I recommend? Personally recommend, I would recommend Jared's version based on nothing else other than it is more affordable. That is it. That is the only difference um, between the two copies, okay? Other than a few, um, this is more of a direct uh, version. That is to say, it uses the symbols and so forth, you know, replacing S's with F's and um, more, shall we say, arcane subsequently accurate spelling of things, as well as a few little uh, spacings, so they actually, the type, the set, and the font are slightly more accurate than, than in this version, but in this version, this is way more readable for your standard hemi practitioner. So, you know, based on that, I've got no issue with either of these. If you have them, they're fantastic. I recommend getting a version of them. If you want to support Ben, absolutely go out and support Ben and Keith with this one, okay, it's critical. If you want to support Jared, go out and get this one. If you're not too nonplussed about which one you want to get and you're cost conscious, then you're going to end up picking the Jared version, okay. So I hope that was informative to you guys. Uh, it's raining a lot outside today. Um, I now have to package up, actually, funnily enough, this, uh, this version, the Ben version, because... Uh, Someone recently bought it, uh, and it's going with uh, one of the broadswords you might have seen in an earlier video. So, look forward to that little review. Who knows? Catch you guys later.